Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up integration to transfer new rows from Airtable to Brevo. This is necessary to automatically transfer new rows from Airtable to other systems. For example, in Brevo you can create new contacts and set up mailings for them. And now let's move on to setting up. First, you need to create a new connection. Next, select the data source system, Airtable. Now, select the action, Get Rows, New. At this stage you need to connect your Airtable account to the Apex Drive service. In this window you must specify the login and password of your Airtable personal account. At this stage, we provide Apex Drive access to work with your Airtable databases. To do this, click Add a Base. I recommend providing access to all databases at once, so that in the future you will be able to work with them. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. At this stage it is necessary to select the base from which we will receive new rows. Also select the table. Now you need to select column of type created time. If you don't have anything in this list, you need to add a new column to your table. To do this, press plus and select the column created time. After that, refresh the Apex Drive page and select a column from the list. At this stage you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so just click continue. At this stage, you see the data that is in the selected table in one of the rows, if you are satisfied with everything, click continue. At this point, setting up the Airtable data source has been successfully completed, now you need to move on to setting up the data destination. Select the system, Brevo. Next, select the action, Add Contact. At this stage, you need to connect your Brevo account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you need to specify the API key. To get it, go to your Brevo personal account. Next, go to the account settings, the SMTP API section. Go to the API keys tab. Click generate a new API key. Specify a name for the new key. Copy the API key and paste it into the appropriate field in the Apex Drive system. When the required field is filled in, click Continue. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. At this stage, select the list to which new contacts will be added. Next, you see the Brevo fields for creating new contacts. You can assign variables from Airtable to these fields. To do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. When all the necessary fields are filled in, click Continue. At this stage, you see an example of the data that will be sent to Brevo as new contacts with each new row from Airtable. If you are not satisfied with something, click Edit and you will go back one step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Brevo. After successful sending, go to Brevo and check the result. If you are satisfied with everything, return to the Apex Drive system and continue setting up. At this point, setting up Brevo as a data destination is successfully completed. Now you need to enable auto-update and select the update interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.